The Subaru Outback has been a perennial all-star for the brand, as its heritage and reputation has led to its dominance and success in the crossover market, especially as a vehicle that in essence is a lifted station wagon. In a crowded segment, the Outback brings a unique design and experience that contrasts from the cookie cutter vehicles that can be found in driveways and on the road. In the 2020s, the Outback fundamentally may not be the most eye-catching, nor is it the most cutting edge. But as buyers have eagerly shown, it's the intangibles that keeps consumers coming back for more. So here are five reasons why you should buy a Subaru Outback. We all joke that crossovers will only see mall terrain, as buyers rarely max out the capabilities of their vehicles, besides those who may brave the cold and treacherous winters in northern regions of the US. Subaru and their customers are a bit different. In fact, it's Subaru owners who are more apt to test the limits of the off-road worthiness of their Outbacks and Foresters than someone driving a Toyota RAV4. With a class-leading 8.7 inches of ground clearance and Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive system coming standard, out of the gate, the Outback not only offers versatility at an affordable price point, but drivers are well aware that they're receiving a drivetrain that can get them out of deep snow and possibly mud without heavily modifying their vehicles. Countering the new wave of off-road capable crossovers such as the Ford Bronco Sport and Mazda CX-50, Subaru introduced the wilderness with a beefed up design, higher ground clearance, and a better off-road package. While maybe a niche vehicle for a more specified and exclusive market, the Outback has continued to prove year after year that it's a choice for Americans if they want a crossover that offers more than just practicality. Crossovers come in all shapes and sizes, but typically they all drive the same, barring a lowered or sports tuned suspension with an impeccable engine and transmission. The Outback is unique in a sense, where it shares many similarities and on-road driving dynamics with the Subaru Legacy, which it shares platforms with. Because of its station wagon-like design, the Outback drives like a car, where there is a subtle hint of a lower center of gravity, which is further enhanced by the seat positioning that differs quite a bit from the Forester. While all Subarus are underpinned by the brand's global architecture, the Outback is more inspiring to drive with a less vague steering feel compared to the Ascent and Forester. Since you have the option to choose the 2.5 liter boxer four cylinder engine or upgrade to the 2.4 turbo, you have full control over what you're looking for in a daily driver. While we'd recommend the 2.4 with its 260 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque, the 2.5 is more than adequate for weekday commutes. Despite shoppers not being thrilled with the CVTs in this segment, Subaru has done a better job of having their transmission respond like a traditional automatic, and with a lack of droning, you'll enjoy your time behind the wheel. For outbacks that aren't the wilderness, road noise is kept to a minimum and ride quality is sufficient if you have a family. While the outback isn't the most inspiring crossover to drive, it's certainly one of the most competent and compliant which makes for an excellent family-friendly vehicle. If you've been a long-time subscriber to the channel, you know our opinions on the Forester and Outback, and how the Forester might be the better crossover within the lineup because of its family-friendly design. However, in every other metric, the Outback demonstrates that it's a worthy sibling and alternative in Subaru's product portfolio, as between the two, it's the only one that receives the sportier 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer four cylinder engine. But even when taking a peek inside, the Outback receives the more modern 11.6 inch tablet like touchscreen that cleans up the dashboard layout by removing unnecessary buttons, while still giving the driver analog buttons for the dual zone climate control and knobs for the volume and tuning. It goes one step further when you factor in the array of seating materials including Subaru Startex water repellent upholstery, which is standard for the Onyx Edition and Wilderness, and Napa leather for the Touring. From a comfort perspective, the Outback feels more luxury-like, appealing to shoppers who desire to go upmarket. Practicality-wise, 
the Outback comes in at 32.5 cubic feet of room behind the second row seats, which is about 3.5 cubic feet more than the Forester. Because of the longer dimensions of the Outback, you can store many items in the back, making it versatile enough for weekend road trips. For the 2024 model year, the Outback offers 9 different trim levels, but unlike rivals who force you to opt for the larger powertrain to receive the features you desire, Subaru gives you the ability to choose a trim with either the 2.5 or 2.4. While there may be some minor add-ons left out on the non-XT models, you're still receiving a well-equipped Outback. For example, we had featured the Onyx Edition XT, but when you go over the spec sheet, there's nothing significant being left out compared to the Onyx that's powered by the 2.5. If you're a frugal shopper, the Premium provides standard features such as LED headlights and fog lights, dual zone climate control, and that 11.6 inch touchscreen. Even better for this model, you can opt for a power moonroof, hands-free liftgate, blind spot detection, and rear cross traffic alert. If a standard Outback isn't exciting or capable enough for you, Stepping up to the wilderness would be our recommendation, as the all-terrain tires, off-road tuned suspension, and 9.5 inches of ground clearance will make traversing the trails an effortless experience. Or maybe you prefer comfort, and that's where the Touring enters the room, with its classier and higher quality interior. No matter what you're looking for, the Subaru Outback likely has the package and model that meet your demands. Subaru's built a loyal and unique customer base, where their buyers are unlike those who purchased a Ford Escape or Volkswagen Tiguan. The Outback has demonstrated throughout the years, and more so in the 2020s, that it's the perfect companion for those who frequently explore the paths less traveled or encounter snow-covered roadways during the winter. Its rugged design, class-leading ground clearance, and available dual-function X mode on selected trims makes this lifted station wagon a great alternative to a Ford Bronco Sport or Mazda CX-50. Its comfortable interior and spacious cargo area also makes it a practical choice in this market that offers a car-like driving experience that differs greatly from the traditional crossovers in this market. We hope you enjoyed this quick buyer's guide for the Subaru Outback. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you're interested in buying an Outback or any other compact and mid-size crossover, make sure to check out our full reviews to help you find your next vehicle. And thanks for watching.